Disclaimer, this video is not a tutorial or a how-to. Neither myself nor any other TA should tell you exactly how to complete the homework problem. Our job is to answer questions you have about the material and explain concepts, not give you the answers to the homework problems. This is for your benefit as it will force you to learn the material better, and as a result, you will do better on your exams. This video will give you information on where you can find the resources to help complete the homework. If you still have questions after watching this video, please go to the TA lab and a TA will be glad to help. It is my goal to answer your questions so I can save you a trip to the TA lab. For problem 1 in this program, you are to display the numbers 1 through 25 in your worksheet, not the debug window. You cannot hard code the values and you must use some form of a loop. If you need a refresher, then you should review chapter 12.5, Loop Videos. Okay, let's walk through this program at a high level. You are outputting a number in one cell and then incrementing that number and moving to the next cell and then displaying that incremented number. You are doing this over and over until that number reaches 25 and then you stop. Note, you should see the numbers 1 through 25, but not 0 nor 26. Think about how you store a number and how you increment a number. Think about how you can move to another cell and display a number. One tip that I can remind you of is that you can use a number or a variable in your offset function. It doesn't have to be a hard-coded number. Okay, moving on to problem two. At a high level, you are taking a name from the first name column, and then you are going to the middle name column and getting the first name from that column too. Ask yourself how you can take input from a cell and store that in memory for your program. Next, you are outputting the combination of the first name and the middle name somewhere in the worksheet. Then you move to the next middle name and on and on until you run out of middle names. When you have no more middle names, then you can move on to the next first name and you once again start on the first middle name and so on until you run out of middle names. Do not hard code the values. You will want your program to be able to handle additional first and middle names if we choose to add more. If you are stuck, you should review one of the videos in chapter 12.5 called Nested Loops and Counters. This will help you complete this assignment. Attach these two programs to two buttons. Once again, make sure that your code is stored in the module workbook.